Let me at that point also then ask the question about, because you talked about both parties doing their businesses, and I know that there's been quite a bit of controversy about ranching. Yeah. Um, some of those who own the lands say that uh, the whole brouhaha is about, as Sean pointed out, taking over the land. But very recently, the State House of Assembly uh, <coughs> uh, put in place uh, a ranching uh, bill, uh, which I, I assume at some point will, will be sent to you for signature. And then on the other hand, you have the communities, uh, some of them complaining that they were not carried along uh, in areas to be designated as ranching. Now, can you clear the air with what the government's plan is with regards to this ranching and how the, uh, those who own the land and the herders stand to benefit so that the controversy doesn't continue? I'm glad uh, you pointed that uh, issue out. The, we, we just recently had the State House of Assembly pass the bill of ranch uh, management. And so what that is, and it's, 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 it's very important, we've had to engage our people, we've had a series of uh, you know, town hall meetings, engage the traditional rulers to get them to understand the import of uh, the ranching bill. So if you are going to have the headers and the farmers cohabit, because you cannot trample, one cannot trample on the other's right, right? And where your right ends is largely where the other's right begins. So what we've done to resolve that is to designate areas where you're going to do ranching, essentially an enclosed area where you can't have your cattle out of. And this ranching is largely going to be a marketplace, okay? It is beyond just where you have pastures for cattle to feed. It is also where you're going to, we're going to build a modern abattoir. We're going to have a feed mill. We're going to have a proper market, okay? And it is not exclusive to any one set of people. Our people are also free. This is a trade, it's a business, which is not, does not exclude any, anybody. It, it, so it's not designed to only be for, say, oh, the Fulanese or indeed one tribe. Our people are traders. And what does it entail, buying and selling cattle? We are very good business people. So we're trying to also create an opportunity where everybody can play. We're talking about a, a market size of over 50 billion naira here. And there's no reason why our people can't play in that market. We consume a lot of cattle here. So we're going to do a modern ranch where we're going to have all the, all the, all the features of any modern ranch anywhere in the world. So you're going to have the abattoir, you're going to have a veterinary clinic, you're going to have the, uh, the, the feed meal and all that. So, and that's essentially what that bill speaks to. 